I, I want to bring in uh, one of the very earliest of technology investors. He's the man on your screens right now. His name is Alan Patrikoff. You, sir, were one of the original investors in Apple. Yes, that's correct. When? In the 1970s? 19, was it? I actually pulled out the old files the other day. It was 1979, and the company started in 77. So, yeah, I wasn't the first day, but... But Pretty it was close. a publicly traded company. No, no, no. It was a private company. Private company. Oh, so yeah. you got a piece of the action before it went public. Oh, yeah. It didn't go public until a couple of years later. I Did you it. make a lot of money on Apple? Uh, what we ended up doing, honestly, is we distributed the stock holding, which is something that is done in private, private investments. So I have no idea what the 40 or 50 perhaps potential uh, investors we had in our fund so at that day. So you had an investment company. Yeah. You got this, a chunk of Apple. Yeah. Yeah. You split it all yeah. up and gave it to your investors. That exactly. So your company made a ton of money. No, no. The, the, investors, the investors made, made a ton money. of money. Exactly. But they were, I mean, we got the credit for it. But who knows <laughs> what they... all you want? Who knows what they did with the stock? You know, <laughs> the question is, I, I've wondered many times, I'm sure many of them from those, because this was a long time ago, are dead. Uh, and what happens is when they get certificates, they may have just put it in the drawer. I wonder if there's anyone who forgot about it. <laughs> I just wonder. I once met someone who had inherited 300 shares of Berkshire Mills. Y yes, that was uh, the exactly forerunner my point. of Berkshire Hathaway. They got 300 shares passed down to him by a grandfather, I think, and suddenly found themselves worth about 30 million bucks. I will tell you something that I have not told because I just discovered this two days ago and I'm giving you something I shouldn't even give you. We, we invested $315,000 and I had someone do the computation the other day of what the, if we had held the $315,000 in Apple. This was in Apple? Yeah. Than 15,000 bucks. Yeah. What do you think it would be worth today? Oh. <laughs> 100 million. Two, two and a half billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and that's accurate. That's wow. been done. It was fact checked. But what you do is your. But we didn't believe me. <laughs> I'm sure it fine. all disappeared quickly. You fact checked this, did you? It just makes me depressed, that's all. <laughs> Look at that. Well, Apple now has a market value of. Pretty close to a trillion dollars. Anything standing in the way of them getting to a trillion, you think? I don't know. There seems to be no end to their, where they're going. I mean, it's just go to their store. It's still as jam-packed at 2 or 3 in the morning as it was yeah. 2 or 3 years ago, yeah. even with construction going on. Now, you don't invest in these big-name technology companies now. They're fully mature. You invest in the smaller upstarts, yeah. don't you? That, yeah, that's what younger you Younger companies, when they're in a private state. Sure. Now... If you were to invest, I mean, just suppose that you had a few couple of billion spare, would you put it into any of these big name tech stocks? Would you put it into Amazon at two thousand uh, at seventeen hundred dollars a share? I, you know, I'm really concerned that you can't have this much noise about the uh, monopolistic or controlling influence Google has, of course, in the search area. Facebook. Uh, has in the social aspect, Amazon has in the e-commerce area. Uh, you've got to, you know, you've got to be concerned that at some point, Congress or someone else is going to say, uh, we're really heading down the road where there's, uh, what it amounts to control. You know, when uh, when uh, Amazon has 45 percent of the uh, 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 e-commerce. Sure. A business, uh, which is well, Google's got a seventy percent of search. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's exactly um, the big two, two, two point two billion uh, people who are on Facebook. I mean, you you really have to be concerned. Are we going to a position of people? having control in specific areas and, and that is that healthy you. is so that worry is it healthy so I, yeah. I'm not sure I'd rush I'd, I'd stick with my earlier stage deals the younger companies we've seen uh, you know github yesterday got sold for seven and a half billion dollars we didn't we were an investor but boy 200 million was invested I believe you missed it uh, yeah, well you can't you know you can't kiss all the girls but we <laughs> we have a lot of you know hopefully up-and-coming companies and we've Okay. Done reasonably well so far. Tell me the big technology, the next big thing that Alan Patrikov is into right now. Well, we've done a lot of direct-to-consumer companies recently. Uh, that's the next big thing. I don't know. We've invested in Hubble, I, Hubble, I which understand. is selling uh, contact lenses. Well, I don't, oh, you mean 
selling instead of through a retail store, selling online, uh, Hubble selling uh, selling uh, contact lenses, uh, Lucy dealing with smoking affiliate uh, concerns, uh, um, Candid, which is just now recently started, which is going after the Invisalign market, which is for teeth correction, uh, where there's big margins in these businesses uh, and there's opportunities to go direct to consumers. So we're investing in a lot of that. I do a lot of things related to the media business personally, I mean, for the firm. Okay. But, you know, I've done Axios, we did Thrive Global, uh, we did a little bit of investments. Uh, you know, when your eyes lit up, when you said the two words, big margins, your eyes lit up. Yeah, I like big margins. <laughs> they are very. What's a big margin? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, twenty percent. Well, uh, it was, what is what's Facebook's margin? I don't you know, know. Sixty-five, sixty percent. Oh that's goodness. a big margin. Yeah, I'd say that's that? a, that, that's extraordinary. Uh, no, but it, it, you know, margins depend on what business you're in. You know, big margin in the grocery business would be five percent EBITDA. In another business, it would be twenty percent. I mean, it depends on the kind of business you're in. You know, if it was anybody else, we have a buzzer. When you use expressions <laughs> like EBITDA, I mean, we... I'm sorry. There there we go. Go. Earnings, <laughs> earnings, earnings before taxes. Thank you. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, now, sorry. at the top of the hour, I said that this is a Goldilocks economy, doing very well. Nice growth, low interest rates, low inflation, more growth still to come, low unemployment, etc., etc., etc. You don't care, do you? You know, it's interesting. We don't see any signs of uh, the economy having any dampening effect on any of the companies. When you're at a very high growth stage, and I've thought about this a lot. All the companies are financed with equity. They don't borrow money. They don't, honestly, truly, they don't spend much time worrying about who's, who's on first in terms of politics. You don't hear much discussion about politics. And they don't hear them worrying about, you know, where interest rates are going or whether the GDP is up or down. All they focus on is, you know, how many more contact lenses, how many more customers are going to be buying online. Uh, we have a company called Acorns, which had a big announcement yesterday, uh, which is a way of younger people in particular starting to get in the investment world. Good for you. Uh, a very hot company, which has just added a new product. But up until now, they do a rounding up. When you go spend money, yeah. the difference between two and a quarter and a Starbucks coffee and 75 cents gets put in an account for you to invest. And now they've just added several other features, debit card yesterday. Who would have thought? Yeah, <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and, and they've had three million people already signing up, and it's wow. growing by leaps and bounds. Private company, That's but impressive. very exciting. So we got a lot of those. Um, I think we're out of time. Would we're you? out of time. Last time we went nine minutes. I mean, uh, you said you it hit an all-time record. You had eight today. <laughs> okay. Look, if it doesn't rate, if the numbers go you down. You told me that last time, but you never gave me the rating out the next day. You well, said you rate. The last time you rated, that's why you're back. If you don't rate today, you'll never be back. It's that simple. But Alan Patrikoff, it was fun. We always have a good time. I hope we didn't yeah. abuse you too much. Never. <laughs> it was a pleasure, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much indeed.